12 12 vision channel 12 12 vision man yo this is 12 12 vision channel yes sir first sneaker con they loading up they are loading up sneaker con. montreal we here 2019 sneaker con vip this is where the exclusive vendors are all the vendors come through this way right here they load in their trucks they van all the young boys 2019 sneaker con my first sneaker con in montreal big shout out to canada montreal what up it's 1212 y'all already know the vibe subscribe i'm out here i'm gonna give y'all a blast a super blast of sneaker con montreal 2019 fly it's gonna be heavy drip out here Heavy drip out here. Heavy drip out here. They loading up. This is the load up places where all they loading up at. Now let's take y'all inside the venue. You know I'm here with JC too, y'all. Hey, Jay, How you been, bro? Derek, you trying to Yeah, I'm here with Jay. Wow, look, these are vendors. This is how it's starting off. This is when everybody's setting up. Mind you, everybody. Everybody is in setup mode. It's 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. We are just starting. And this is gonna be big Montreal. They got heavy hitters out here. Heavy Supreme, heavy Off-White, heavy Classic, heavy Jordans. Let's start it up. Heavy Yeezys. So this is the venue right here, y'all. Give y'all a quick glance at the venue. Everyone's setting up right now. That's my boy Chase right here. This is his, his venue right here. Chase. Kicks X Star. That's Chase right there. You see Big Bro right there. Alright, so this is just the beginning of. Whoo, heavy on the core purples over here. Heavy on the Jordan Ones exclusive. Go run down on two J's real fast. It's two J's. The owner of Urban Necessity. You see my man merch heavy on the merch. Two J's kicks. Fire T-shirts. Pull them up. Like one or two just so I can put these up. Uh, yeah, cool. This is Jay right here. What's up, Jay? Oh, yeah. My boy. Man walked in the Foot Locker and said, I will take all of these. Thank you. He brought all of them from Foot Locker? all of them. You was there? What you mean? He didn't buy all these. And they gave him all these? Yeah. Oh, this he cheating. He cheated, not cheat Yeah, he cheating. I... Yo, bro, you literally brought all these from Foot Locker we was at yesterday? Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look. What? Oh, he cheating. You know, if you know Foot Locker. What's going on? State your name. Uh, my name is Memo. I'm working for Kickstarter right now. Wow. And look, we're going to look at the bro right now. He just put up a new thing. Oh. He's oh. oh, he's exclusive. I feel you, Chase. It says free hot. It's not picking up on mine too well. Bro. It is. Yo, I'm going to just stand here for the head, bro. I appreciate it. Does your camera pick it up? Uh, sometimes it bit. does. And some of the, it's something about the shutter speed. I'm getting it. Yeah. Not. You're too high tech with the shit. Wow. Game. You you got the game. He got technology packages. He fully loaded. Yeah, he came out. Then he got he got shower throw rugs. Shower throw rugs. Wow. 
Y'all are fancy. You know, we try. Yo, you don't try. Y'all do very well. Yo, we try. This is so you can put it right beside your bed so when you wake up, you don't gotta step on cold floors unless you have heated floors like rich guys like JC and Chase. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can't afford it. I got that cold. Me floor. too. I got that cold floor. When you wake up and get out, I don't even like to go to the bathroom without socks on. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> wow. 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 Feet, heavy feet, big boy feet. Question. What's the name of your venue? Uh, Say it again. Christopher Kicks. Oh, Christopher Kicks. Nice. Y'all really got some fire sneakers, Christopher Kicks. I like it. Really like exclusive. Yes. Keep keep it up. Biggest plug in Ottawa. Always here. Third time in 2J's videos. Mm. Yes, sir. How you been? You been good? I've been good. That's so, so you opened the store. You finally opened the store, right? You told me you opened it. It was going well, and then you're, you're closed for the summer, so you can go out and do what you gotta do, yeah. right? So how's the store going? It did pretty well, yeah. Yeah? What yeah. was your biggest sale that you had? Biggest sale? Uh, like dollar amount. Dollar amount? I sold some off white Jordans for 1.2. Mm. Okay. Some okay. UNCs, yeah. Dope. Not a lot of big ballers in Ottawa, but I sell a lot of. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell a lot of Yeezys and stuff, but. Dope. Yeah. So now I see, last time when I saw, the first time I saw you, was right here in this trading pit. You're back at the trading pit again, but last year you had a lot of Supreme. Yeah. Now you came at us with a lot of shoes. Switch it up. Switch Supreme, it up. I have a lot of Supreme, but I sell it a lot. I just sold 300 tees like two weeks ago. Mm. And now uh, you know, I'm doing shoes, I'm doing Supreme, doing everything. So mom, did you, you quit your job? You're doing this full time now? Full time. Full time. <laughs> so Hype Beast Mom? Hype Beast Mom. This when are you ever going to see a mom Say that easy. Mom doesn't right. want to be in the video. Okay, hype beast mom. Okay, she's, she's she's exclusive. Exclusive. okay beast just mom. what about mommy feet? <laughs> ah, hype beast mom. <laughs> this is so dope, bro. I'm really proud of you to see like that you're still at it, that you're still going on, you're still. What's that Instagram for the shop again? I'm gonna talk. At S O R E R E S O R T Soul Resort. No, thank you, bro. Thanks, bro. Have a good day. You too, man. Yeah. Yo, I, I, I respect the hustle. I respect the grunt. The hustle that kid got is crazy. Yeah? Where he's from again? Ottawa. Ottawa. He's out here. I'll be out there. I, uh, Look at JC Feet. Okay. And then I leave Monday night to New York. So I'm there for a week. Yeah, yeah. You're in um, Soho. House in the Broadway. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be in Fox Soho. The love JC get. So, y'all really gas off that win, huh? I would be too, bro. The home team championship. What's up, champion? Champions. That's right. So you guys sell online? Yeah, on Instagram. Badhabitio.ca. Okay. Okay. How far y'all from Yorkville? Yorkdale, it's like uh, 40 minutes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Little subtleties. <laughs> oh. You say my name. Hold on, hold like, on. I woke up. Hold up, hold up. How, yes, you gotta record this. Hold up, hold up. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. Hold it. Because he literally was begging. We, we almost walked. 
right? somewhere for it. But he said, you know what? I'm going to wait because somebody in the venue is going to look out for me. Oh, for sure. And that's sure. crazy. Yo, so these dudes saved my life. Yes, they did <laughs> save your life. I woke up. I woke up. We woke up late. I'm like, yo, we're running late. We left. I'm like, yo, bro, I'll just I'll just find I'll find the monster around. I'll find the you monster said that. around the venue. <laughs> and I didn't find the monster around the venue. And I'm like, well, it's still cold, bro. It's oh, still cold. Yo, this cold. is crazy. Man, me, Much you respect to you guys, man. This and one. the Slim Jim. Yeah, the Canadian Slim Jim. Yo, they really know two J's yeah, though. Ran. Oh, wow. wow. You, this is our, our sneaker cases. Oh, dope. They're created, they're collapsible. So, uh, can you show me uh, one of the displays? So it comes in the box like this. Basically. Okay. And they're all held by magnets, so no more clip, no, there's no wear and tear. Wow. Uh, we use our five millimeter cast acrylic. Wow, bro, that's so, actually pretty thick. Yeah. That's really dope. So Nightwing just uh, posted a video on this this morning. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. The timing is clutch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got see, you uh, two of these. Thank you, bro. Around with them. Thank you, bro. Nah, I, I love it. Big I'll shout out to you guys. Heavy duty. Yeah. OG nah, squad I'll, put, I'll put my UNCs in here. OG Thank squad you. clothing on IG. Oh, say it again for me, please. OG squad clothing on IG. Please, please follow you, that movement right there, y'all. These are much, good guys. guys. Good guys. I keep. I cannot explain how he was begging for a monster. These guys really came through for the monster and Slim Jim. He told me before we came into this venue, he like, watch how many people say what's up to me, but let's see how many people's gonna really look out for me for the stuff that I need. The monster drink and the Slim Jim came through the good fellas. Yo, they gave me a gift. I got one. We're gonna open this up. Monster, you got it though, Jay. You really wanted that monster though, Jay. How did it come to you? Karma. Karma. Good karma. Good karma. I spoke, I spoke it into existence. You really did though, because we was just downstairs getting a bagel. He was like, ah, I need a monster. Now you got it. Quench the thirst. Energy up to a thousand. You got it, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, my first sneaker on it. Uh, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. And how old are you? 15 years old. 15. So let's go take a look at your food. So we have a couple friends with me, obviously. JC showing love to the youth. At 15, I didn't have some good shoes. Word. At 15, he got off. I see you guys are coming, bro. Yeah. Of course. So at 15, you're the man. <laughs> you really are. Yo, what was the first shoe you started to suck? Like, what was the first flip? I started with clothes. Okay, what was the like, first flip? 2017, I got like two Supreme Tees off the drop. Okay. And then, like, I was like. They, they, like I, they, they were, they, I flipped them for more basically, and then I'm like, I can make money here, so like, let me go all day. And I started like investing time and money, like building up a collection. How many shoes did you bring to the show? Well, me, I only bought two because I'm like many clothes, like I said before. I brought 25. 25. How long have you been? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Great. Yeah, shout out to StockX. StockX helped me start, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, StockX helped me start. StockX is a good, like, you, you, I have a lot of respect for StockX. I know that sometimes in the community we get caught up in the things that don't go the way they're supposed to. But if it wasn't for StockX, we wouldn't have really a format as to what things go for, right? Yeah, exactly. I use it as a marketplace now. Exact prices. Yeah, but like, it really ha it helped me start because like, I didn't have like, connections or like, right. who to sell to. So I just sold it straight to StockX and it was just like, an easy way, easy flip. I think you guys are going to the, the Instagram if you don't mind. Yeah, I got you. Where's that Instagram? <laughs> you gonna be lit. Thanks, you got bro. two J's kicks. You, He's filming you. Thanks, bro. Y'all doing good. Thanks. Thanks. Kill it today, guys. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nope. 2019 Montreal Sneaker Con, the line for Sneaker Con. 2019 Montreal 1212. What's up, what's up, y'all? Y'all gonna get ready to kill today, right? Buying everything up, right? That's right. Buy, sell, and trade. That's what we're here for, right? Have fun. Big shout out to you, bro. Left the venue, 
went outside and said, what are y'all looking for? And he's like, I got that and sold it. You serious? Yeah, he on it, bro. You a hustler. Yes, you sir. smart. Always hustling. Always hustling. Gotta make money. Much love to you, man. Money. Keep it up, man. You're you gonna have fun today, Thank man. You. you. I hope you do real well today, bro. Follow the Instagram. Say your Instagram. At S-O-L-E. R E S O R T or follow my personal M A T T Y G A R C I A underscore. Say it one more time, both of them. <laughs> At S O L E R E S O R T and my personal M A T T Y G A R C I A underscore. Everybody follow that man. He really got a lot of merchandise. He got his own booth and his mom's is in the building <laughs> with him. They call a hype beast moms. It was nice to meet you. Congratulations Thank to everything you. you're Thank doing. You. Keep it up, all right? Thank you. Always Thank you. love. So 2019 Montreal sneaker con. We here. I'm with JC Urban Necessity. JC selling all his t-shirts. I got the two J's kick T on right now. We selling the T's right now. That's my job. I'm YouTubing the whole thing. Big shout out to all my subscribers. Big shout out to YouTube. Big shout out to Sneaker Con. Meeting the guys that own Sneaker Con. I appreciate Appreciate you, JC, for bringing me out here. This is super dope. Now let's get to work. 12-12. Nice one. Nice, nice feet. <laughs> Everyone was tripping out that I was wearing these because that day they were going for 10 grand on stock. So I saw your YouTube video. I know, yeah, yeah. I didn't I even care. I, was I paid a, This was so I paid I paid a thousand for those. A and, thousand. and they were hitting for ten thousand. And everybody was bugging out. I paid twelve hundred for the jeans, a thousand for the shirt, eighteen thousand for the uh chains, forty two thousand for the watch and like forty for the hot. I'll pay check. I'll be check. <laughs> Say that again. I'll be check. Yes, it is. Yo, we got the boy out here. State the state. Yo, Dioro, I call him AKA Jungle Boy Show. He's tearing it up out here. You see, he got the good items. The great idol. We are called the Mercer Boys. Oh, the Mercer Boys. For Thanks. real.
Well, 12, your first sneaker con. My first sneaker con, that's okay. crazy. I and mean, then, and you did an international one at that. So I made like, Canada, yeah. First sneaker con. What's up with my boy 2Js right here? So what you think of the vibe of the, of, the, of the whole show? I mean, I liked it. For my first sneaker con, this shit was really dope. Like, I had fun. It was an experience. Like, to see everybody, how many sneakers people really be collecting, how much Supreme people be collecting, and just to see how people be really hustling while I'm, like, shocked about. But now, I'm listening to what you was just telling me a little while ago. This is nothing. Are you saying this was nothing compared to what you used well, to? Well, I don't want to discredit. I don't want to discredit the the venue, right? Like as far as like Canada and all that. I, this show. I, I mean, I was here last year. Mm -hmm. This show was. was it big? It was. This like, show was like there was a lot more vendors here. The quality of what was here, as far as shoes, was a little, a lot better than last year. Yeah, because I was about to say you can't. The, the shoes was dope. It was a lot of exclusives. Yeah. It was a lot last of good Yeezys. Uh, last year was a lot of ran down stuff. Yeah, this so, was off, so. This was this was white crazy. Yeah, Jordan yourself. ones crazy. Yeah, a lot of traps. Love the traps that was yeah. out here. The interview that you did up there was pretty dope. That yeah. was super dope. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a good vibe. You know, we sold a couple shirts. I got to say thank you to a couple people in person um, for watching. You know, like I initially came with the, the intentions of buying. Yeah. Right, but um, people was running down on you. Actually, were you buying? But we already know the story behind. Yeah. That, so, bro. like, just to let y'all know, because I know some of y'all are kind of curious, like why you don't see me with a gang of shoes, or I didn't really buy shoes in this video. It's just I didn't anticipate the logistical like I didn't think I was gonna have to go through that many hoops to try to get money, money. out here okay. right okay. so that was the first problem and then just like the conversion rate for some of the stuff just didn't make it just didn't make sense when I was transferring the money through PayPal because that was really my only option Taxes so we just no 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 just the so there's an there's like international fees involved oh, so like All right. so Wait. once I'm like we're agreeing on prices then it winds up being something else and then like it just we're not so ahead. we just we tried it it didn't really work we left it alone you know what i mean and 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 i just know that uh now that means that dallas is gonna be crazy i really have to go hammer because i gotta make up for the fact that i couldn't buy nothing really here quick question was it a lot was it stuff worth you buying here there was there was some things that i would have bought yeah you like had all the view all like all the black Ref, like the non-reflective V2, and there was a lot of those out. That was a lot. There was a de a lot more than I expected. expected, right? And for a reasonable price, they had. Yeah, them, yeah. Right? It was they we we could have worked with that, you know. Right. So I, I bought them both. Yeah, yeah. Right. I would have bought. Right. I would have tried to. Yeah, but it is you know. It is. What it, it allowed is. me. It freed me up to be able to give the attention to the supporter. Yeah. And and at the end of the day, like that's what it, these shows are for me. And like, enough. I'm never down mean to cut you off. Uh, I see a lot of people come to you for advice and like, yeah, it's wild, you drop right? Jews on them or like yeah. is it what is it? Is it because they know your background or they know how far you came or all the loops you went through and stuff? I mean like I think I think people look at obviously what we've been able to do collectively, my wife, Joni, sees the squad, okay. the stores. Okay. It's and the they team. and they say they say, damn man, these guys have accomplished a lot and they don't really have the background. Like I feel like I can relate to right, them, right, right? right? And they just, they try to put themselves in my scenario and try to, like, how do I get to that? And try to ask the questions of, and, and you know, it's like, it's it's tough to answer those I questions. I see you was getting a lot of input, like business owners was coming yeah. to you. It's wild, it's mad humbling, because, like, I still feel like I'm trying to figure it out. Understood. And Definitely. these dudes, like, they are looking at me you like, like I don't you got figured the it answers. out. Right, right, and, uh, right. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like I figured it out. I just feel like I've gotten to a point where, like, you're motivated. I got so caught up in working that, like, people started noticing, yo, my man is really Getting working. Yeah, right, right, right. Like putting in real and, footwork. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beating just, the industry up. The sneaker game yeah. is getting beat up by Two J. Like, like seriously. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would just say like. The sneaker industry reselling side of it has not seen someone be as vocal and as consistent, consistent. Yeah, to go I mean. everywhere to network right, to build bro. and and like the whole and still time. have the businesses running 
at their locations, New York. Well, it speaks. It speaks. It speaks a lot about our staff. Okay. We got a great staff. You know what I mean? Good. So um, it's just very important. It's just very important um, to uh, Keep like going. give them their credit. It's very important to give them the tools so I could be able to continue to do this. Right. It, it, there's a lot of trust. Um, and at the same time, there's a lot of fear because I'm human and I'm right. not used to it. Right. But it's it's dope that we got it to where I can go to these places and and share, man. I'm I'm glad you got the opportunity to share this. You Big know, shout out to Sneaker Con in Montreal, yep. 2019. This shit was dope, yep. amazing. I don't even I'm not gassing it. This shit was fire. Excuse my language. Yep. It was really fire though. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna try something a little bit different than what you've normally seen from my channel. Or, or from 12's channel, I'm actually uh, going to take the little bit of content that I filmed and a lot of bit of the content that 12 filmed, and we're going to we're going to mix it up, and we're going to we're going to spit them out on both of our channels. I need you all to do me a favor and follow 1212 Vision on YouTube one time. 1212 Vision on IG too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's 12. Yeah. 12. So 12. 12. Dot Vision on YouTube right. and the gram right. and uh, like just follow him man I think his his movement is a little it, it's very refreshing um, to what you've been seeing on YouTube and in the sense that like can I say something I'm coming my youtubers and youtubers and all my subscribers to the whole family out there I'm coming with organic and rawness of NYC streets and the rawness of Every sneaker con this kid invite me to. I'm only being like genuine with my fans. And once again, I want to shout my, my channel while it's 12 slash 12 vision, everything together. Much support. And I love all y'all YouTubers. So, so the difference I think with what 12 brings is that 12, 12 is more our age, right? And like, look, most of my following is like 25 to 34. So, um, you know, 25 to 34 age group, I don't feel like there's enough YouTube content being put out by people of our age that's catering. Like, look, don't get me wrong, I love all our fans from from the from the little kid to the to the 50, 60 year old oh, pop started coming in and then like, yo, I rock with you. Like, I'm, I got my whole family watching you. Um, but it's not enough of that su like grown up substance, like right. business side. Like 12 got a lot of videos where he's out on Mercer just catching like all these crazy deals. He's catching sneaker con, but in the street. Right. And he right. and he comes he comes from that street environment, and he's got the cosign in the city, man. And and I'm giving him the cosign for YouTube and, and in the sneaker shit. So follow my man. Yeah. And, so, uh, much love. Montreal, appreciate y'all. I'll yeah. catch y'all in Dallas. It's gonna be a movie because I'm trying to spend the milli at Dallas. Let's go. Mind blowing. What the? Love y'all.